We are back for the final round three knockout. This is battle number four within round three, or battle 28 overall. So close to the end here. We are about to nominate our last semi-finalist, and the options today are going to be the Ujimacha Manten from Ocha up against Rikyu from Breakaway Matcha. So let's get them brewed up and we can see who wins. to go that Riku during the mixing process there was kicking up all kinds of fun aromas. But let's take a, a closer smell now. Let's start with the Montan. This doesn't really make sense but like vegetable candy. Right? It smells very sweet but like a, a sugary sweetness but still green. A little bit of spices. Interesting. And the Riku? Oh there's a there's that chocolate note that comes up in a lot of the breakaway matchas. Again the I believe it was 98 just was super strong. And then in um, in the Hakari there was also a little bit, and this is closer to the Hakari. It's kind of a, a more subtle note, but it's still there. A little bit more savory, green, umami kind of smells coming off. Dense richness. Going for the taste now. Cheers. Smooth, creamy, sweet. It does have a lot of that sweetness. Just the slightest twinge of bitterness and astringency. But just such a light touch, just enough to make it interesting. Kind of a minty aftertaste. Very nice. Three cute. So obviously they're prepared exactly the same way, one gram to 60 milliliters. But this one tastes slightly more watery. Still excellent, creamy. Not as creamy as the Montan, I would say. It does actually have a little bit of that kind of very sweet chocolatey taste to it, even a little bit. I mean, obviously both are very good, or they wouldn't have made it all the way into round three. Let's go back to the... Montan here. One more time with the Riku. Thought I had it there for a minute, but still super close. It is close, but I think, boy, they're just so good. I think by Whisker, we're gonna go with Breakaway Matcha Riku. The final round three knockout means that our bracket looks like this. And now we have all of our semi-finalists Riku going to go into round four for a chance at the finals. Ujimacha Manten from Ocha did not quite make the cut today, but boy was that close. So let me tell you a little bit more about Ujimacha Manten. As mentioned, this comes from Ocha, and this is their 30 gram container, one of their most expensive offerings for matcha. The other option being the Taiko san, which has made it into the semifinals. International order, time of purchase, this came in with conversion at $47.32, or approximately $1.58 per gram. Season, 2018 cultivar, unknown, origin, Uji. Now this is the most dense of all of the descriptions from the website. Expensive? Yes it is. However, if you are in search of the absolute best matcha available anywhere, online or off, your search is over. Until we started carrying Uji Matcha Manten back in the mid 2000s this product had never been sold outside of Japan. It is still offered online exclusively by Ocha. A few words about this item. The first thing you will notice about this matcha is its wonderful aroma. Extremely aromatic. The grower has an extremely small production and it is currently supplying only the local market with this grade. So the supply is extremely limited. Ocha.com will have this item in stock as supplies are available, which can be very hit and miss. Because of limited space and the age of the tea plants used for this item, the grower will never be able to increase his production. The typical customer in Japan who purchases this matcha are the tea ceremony instructors because they know it to be the best. In the Uji area where this tea is grown, the grower is well known and has written a book on the art of growing Tensha. He has won numerous awards for his Tensha from the Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry, and Fisheries. The taste of Manten is very distinctive and there is no competition for this grade. This is a connoisseur's class matcha. Ocha.com is the first to carry this matcha outside of Japan. All right, that's gonna do it for round three. Just like that, we have selected our last semi-finalist and I will see you tomorrow for our first elimination in the semifinals to select our first finalist. See you then.